Hi guys, this is your professor on Achievers World Masterclass and this evening I want to be talking about a particular sign that I just came across as I was driving past this road. I noticed that I've not spoken about or I've not talked anything about this sign. So I want to use this opportunity to, you know, talk about it so that everyone that will be coming across this video will have an idea of what the sign is talking about. But before I dive into it, I want to quickly um, talk, um, congratulate my esteemed subscribers for coming again to, you know, visit my channel. As always, I want you guys to know that actually you are the reason why I keep posting videos on a daily basis or on a weekly basis like this. You give me motivation to do more. Thank you so much. And now for those that are visiting my channel for the first time, I want to say thank you for, you know, visiting. Um, please do me a favor by subscribing and then sharing um, this um, video or my subsequent videos to your social media community, community so that whenever I post videos like this, they will know. Also, consider um, clicking on the notification button so that whenever I send videos like this, whenever I upload videos like this, You'll be one of the first people that will be informed of it. Thank you so much. So quickly let us dive into this particular sign that I am talking about. And this sign is um, right here. Um, it is overhead. You can see it. You can see the sign. It's actually two signs. The first one is um, Dorso. It is called Dorso. In, um, in Italian, which means speed breaker. Why the second one is, um, um, you know, speed limit, it's called speed limit sign, speed limit signal, and it is the maximum speed limit that is written on it is 30 kilometer per hour. Now, I want to talk about this sign. The first one is the DOS, which is artificial break, uh, artificial speed breaker you can call it speed breaker i can call it artificial speed breaker depending on the type there are some that are artificial you know but that there are some that are permanent like in this case this one is not artificial because i just looked at the road and i discovered that it's not artificial it is actually a permanent speed breaker so the meaning of this particular sign overhead right now is saying that whenever you see this sign it simply means that you have to it simply means that there is a speed breaker in 150 meters. There is a speed breaker ahead. There is a speed breaker ahead. You know, ahead of you. If you look at the road right now, um, do I, if you look at the road right now, you see that ahead in 150 meters, there is actually a speed breaker. You know, so it is trying to tell you that as soon as you, as soon as you see this sign, it is advised that you slow down, and preferably in this case. Because there is a speed limit sign under it, you will discover that what the speed limit sign is saying that as soon as you see this speed breaker sign, you have to obey the speed limit sign that is below it, which is 30 kilometers per hour. So what you have to do when you see this sign is that you have to slow down if possible. In fact, and in this case, you have to slow down till 30 kilometers per hour so that the speed breaker does not, you know, disturb you when you're about to cross over it. You know, it's kind of a bit high. You know, that is why they ask, you are asked on this road as soon as you see this sign to reduce your speed to the barest minimum of 30 kilometers per hour so that it does not, when you pass over the speed breaker, you are not affected in any way negatively, you know. So in this particular road, where this speed breaker is, you are not allowed to overtake because um, this is one of the reasons why speed breakers are put on the road. It is to reduce your speed. So, and if you want to overtake, you know that you need to um, increase your speed. So, when you see speed breakers like that, and you tend to overtake before them, what you need to do is to reduce your speed, you know, so that you can climb the speed breaker perfectly. Then, if you intend to still overtake, and the road allows you to overtake continuously. You are free to overtake, but when there is a speed breaker like this, and you tend to overtake, as long as you've not crossed that speed breaker, you need to, you know, change your decision of overtaking, 
reduce your speed and in this case to the barest minimum of 30 km per hour and then go over the speed breaker. If you intend to overtake continuously, if you want to overtake, you are free after passing the speed breaker. So in this case, in, on this road, this sign above, like this one I just talked about, this door saw that is overhead now, this door saw is trying to tell you that in 150 meters, because in my last video, I tried to explain that whenever you see triangular signs like this, it is trying to tell you that in 150 meters, you will see or you will come across what the sign is really talking about. Now, in this case, is that in 150 meters, you will come across a speed breaker. Therefore, your speed limit must be reduced to the barest minimum of um, 30 kilometer per hour. I hope I've been able to do justice to this particular sign. But if I have not, you know, been able to explain to you, you need further clarifications. Um, let me see your comment in the comment section. And as always, I'm ready to answer your questions so that you can fully understand what those two signs are talking about. Quickly, I want to talk about a particular sign again. As I'm walking past this road, I saw one particular sign that is, you know, very easy to understand. You know, and the sign is um, is, a, is one sign, two in one actually, two in one, two in one signal, two in one road signal, and it's talking about this little road that is in front of me. Uh, let me quickly show. You.